Hi all and welcome back to another video. Plan is to make a 5000 milliamp 4S battery pack for my Dart and my Talon. I'm going to make two of them but I'm only going to show you how to make one in the video. So I'm going to be using my spot welder I bought from AliExpress. It's not a bad little spot welder this one. Does the job well, comes with the nickel plated coil you see beside it. Batteries I'm going to be using are Leo Takala 26650 5000 milliamp 50 amp batteries. So we'll go through this build together and um, if you're going to follow along, take care following along as always because it can be dangerous playing with this if you do the wrong thing. So if you're interested, take care, follow along and um, enjoy enjoy the build. So we'll start with our four batteries in this position like this and what we're going to do is take two like that and flip them over. So that's going to be the layout of our battery pack. So we'll split the pack into two separate cells making two two cell 5000 milliamp batteries. Your, your cell arrangement for the two packs should look like this with one positive up one end and one negative the other and we will hot glue the cells together. Make sure they are even before the hot glue dries. So you should be left with two cells in this configuration here hot glued together. Next I'm going to put a mark on the positive and negative of two of the batteries. These will be the main connecting point for the main wiring terminal which will hold the XT60 connection. We can now hot glue the pack together creating the four cell in preparation for spot welding the nickel plating. So our nickel plating will run in this configuration starting with our positive and negative. It will go down the first cell. We'll put a plate across the bottom here. The current will then come up to the top and go across where we'll put another plate. From there it will go back down and across the bottom where we'll put our final plate connecting the four cell together. Care needs to be taken when doing the nickel plating that you don't short anything out. So your battery configuration with your nickel plating should look something like this. We will then turn it over and we'll put our first nickel plating just here. Always do a test first on uh, your settings for your spot welder so that you're not going to be using too much power and creating a hole in the bottom of the battery. For this particular spot welder I have it set about midway. Put at least four spot welds, if not put two more. I've put six in most of mine on the negative side and four on the positive side. And once that's done, just check it with, with a pair of pliers that it's firmly connected. That's very important. We'll then flip it back over to its original configuration, keeping the positive and the negative that we marked in the same spot. We'll now do our next nickel plate across the top here. And again, check that the nickel plating has securely spot welded to both batteries. So next our current will go down like we said before and we will flip the battery back over and put the last nickel plate on the positive and negative of the third and fourth cell. And check again that your connection for your spot welds are secure. Bring the battery back in the same position again with your positive and negative in the same spot so you don't get confused and we'll go on to the next step. Next we will check our battery voltage levels on each cell with a multimeter. By rights on our main terminals here we should have the full voltage of 15.7. These aren't fully charged, these are at storage level. Down the bottom we'll have a cable down here eventually, a balance cable, that's our first cell 3.9. If we go across the top here, 
This is cell two. Another cable on the balance lead will be there and our third cell down the bottom, 11.8. And of course, when we go across, we should have a full four, four cell system there, 15 volts. Next, we'll solder on our XT60 cable connection and cable. And now we'll go on to the two batteries that we marked initially. I've had to extend two of my balance leads. They weren't quite long enough, which is really unfortunate, but anyway, that's how I'm gonna do it. We've got our balance cable set up and our power lead also set up ready for solder. So next, we're gonna take the balance cable. The red obviously will be our, our, our positive. It's going to go in that configuration. So negative over on this side. We'll give it a quick sand just to let the solder get good connection. With the red wire being number one, we'll feed wire number two and wire number four to the bottom of the battery. So we'll solder wire two to the nickel plate after we've sanded the nickel plate for good solder connection. We'll add some flux and then put a nice solder blob on for the wire to connect to. It's important not to get too much heat into the battery, so make sure your soldering iron is quite hot. We've got a good connection there for our balance cable. Next we'll do wire four. We'll sand the nickel plate and then put a blob of solder in the middle. Very important your connections are good here. You don't want any cables coming off creating a short once the battery is finished. A Little bit of alcohol to clean off the, the flux. And we'll turn the battery back over and do the final balance cable for cell number two. We'll determine a comfortable length and trim the wire. Rough up the nickel plating a bit for good solder connection. We'll add a bit of flux and a nice big blob of solder. Heat it up well, a good connection again. And that's wire number three now connected. So you should be just left with the two outer wires now, which will go with your main cable. Plenty of solder will be needed here. So again, try not to be too long on the battery so that you overheat the battery, get a good connection with your cable on the negative and also with the positive. I, I decided to put my battery cables on first and then trim up the length for the remaining balance cables. Always use flux because it makes the job a lot easier, flows the solder much better. Our positive balance cable will go on, positive cable, and our negative balance cable will also go on the negative cable. So that's effectively your balance cable all connected up. Check all your connections 100% before you go into the finished product of putting the shrink wrap over the battery. So after checking everything, our battery should be good. I'm gonna put a couple of stickers on the bottom here just to stop any shorting going on. We'll now clean off the excess flux with the rubbing alcohol and put the remaining stickers on each cell. I decided to use the electrical tape over this because I like the look of the black on the ends of the battery. So that was the reason why I went this way. It was here I realized that the heat shrink that I ended up buying was a bit small. So I've reordered some new stuff, uh, which will be uh, coming in a couple of weeks. So at the moment, I'm going to just wrap the battery up with this uh, black tape that I've got. And when the heat shrink comes, I'll replace the black tape with the heat shrink. So now that our battery is all wrapped up, we will 
just write on it what the battery is and what its capacity is just for reference so I like to put a bit of hot glue over the wires just to secure the connections in case of a crash it's not going to pull directly on the solder uh, the hot glue will give it a bit of added strength so the final thing is we'll check our XT60 to make sure we've got the four cells reading at the end here which we should have and I've got 15.7 volts which is correct battery is in storage capacity at the moment we can then check we have still got the same on each outer pin there 15.7 if we go in one three cells is 380 go in the next two cells is 7.8 and our one cell is 3.9 so we are reading correctly all our wiring seems to be very good and uh, that's my battery so far that I've created. Just got to wait for this heat shrink. So hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find it informative. Any questions, just leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you. Until then, happy flying, stay safe, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.